there, Walt here from Walt in PA. Thank you for joining me on this brisk Saturday morning in Southeast Pennsylvania. I am actually on my way to Norristown to attend a Total Control IRC, which is an intermediate rider clinic. And I don't know a whole lot about it other than it's supposed to make you ride your motorcycle better. So if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably like the beginner's rider beginner rider clinic only with your own motorcycle and skills that are a little more conducive to people that have been riding for at least a few months so i'm pretty eager to to get there and check out the class the only problem is despite getting up early this morning uh, i got a late start and it's looking like i'm going to be coming in under the wire they want us there by eight it's a 38 minute ride and i suspect i'm going to be getting there oh about five or ten after eight well i'm not far at all from the training center there's some miracle it looks like i'm going to get there with a few seconds to spare all right now i gotta look for a training facility in about one and a half miles I think it is in the road services building so past the DMV finding that detect isn't uh, sometimes that the addresses can be off a little bit so I got to keep the lookout rather than rely on the solely on the GPS telling me exactly where the street location is you know if I'm being honest it doesn't quite look like an area that I would expect a DMV and a road services building to be on. It's not quite uh, the industrialized area or highly commercial area that I was expecting. I believe this is it. GoPro. Everyone. Yep, that's it. GoPro, stop recording. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, <laughs> worn out. Just finished an eight hour total control intermediate riders clinic. And it was so worth the price of admission, which thanks to being a Pennsylvania resident, was free. All right, so before we talk about the intermediate riders clinic, let's talk a little bit about how I got here. So as 2022 came to a close, I sat back and decided that I wanted to assess my riding for the year, for the season, and set myself a few goals going into 2023. Now, one of the goals that I set for myself was that I wanted to take additional motorcycle education courses. They didn't have to be in-person classes or, you know, specific range time like I just finished. I just wanted to further my education through seminars, through riders clinics, and the the first one that i did in 2023 was the street smart seminar through martin moto it's hosted by the msf and it was held at martin moto in boyertown pennsylvania the objective was to make you a proactive rider versus a reactive rider you know they want you to look ahead and see issues and determine safe solutions rather than oh shit, something's about to happen i better do something so I took that course actually where I met Emily the instructor for total control the IRC and um, right around the same time I registered for the street smart class I also booked the total control intermediate rider clinic so total control offers three different classes or actually they offer more than that but for in for the sake of brevity and motorcycles 
there is a basic rider course, which is a BRC or basic riders clinic. There's the IRC, which is an intermediate rider clinic. Then there's an ARC, which is an advanced rider clinic. Now there are two separate ARCs in Pennsylvania. There is a range type course, much like what I just took for the IRC. And then there's one that's held at a racetrack and is done at higher road speeds. So th three, three official acronyms, BRC, IRC, and ARC, but there are just a variety of courses. They also offer three wheel courses and things like that. So I opted to go with the IRC because I didn't think I was ready for an advanced course, but I also didn't want to sit through a beginner course. And I realize that sounds very pinky up of me to say that I don't want to sit through a, a, B, a BRC, but uh, I'm sure that there is a lot that I could learn, but I just don't want to spend a couple of hours doing the very, very bare bones basic stuff like learning to duck walk the bike and things like that. And meanwhile, all of this stuff happens on a motorcycle that the training location provides. The IRC is meant for riders with at minimum 500 miles of riding experience and you must supply your own motorcycle and gear. So think of it kind of like they're teaching you how to ride your bike better versus how to ride a bike in general. So the day finally came to attend the IRC in Norristown. It was my scheduled day. They were planning a start at 8.30. They requested that everyone be on the range by 8 a.m so that we could fill out uh, all the necessary paperwork, waivers, um, provide them with insurance information for our bikes, registration information for our bikes, etc., etc. And that meant that I had to leave my house at about 7 a.m. Now, I was looking at the weather forecast and it was going to be cold. <laughs> um, it's crazy the weather we've had. Uh, just a few days ago, we had a high of about 78 degrees it was surprisingly warm for april and then today getting on the bike and riding to the irc it was 32 degrees so it was it was cold and kind of deep down inside i kind of hoped that it would be too cold for some people now when when i had talked to emily at the msf street smart course she had mentioned that there's always room at the IRCs because people tend to no-show. You know, if there's threat of a little bit of rain, there may be no-shows if it's super cold. There may be some no-shows if it's just going to be kind of miserable. There are no-shows. So I was, in the back of my mind, I was kind of hoping that the, the cold might chase some people away because if it did, that meant more one-on-one -on -one time with the instructors. So <laughs> I was... I don't want to say I was hoping some people would wimp out, but I wouldn't have been upset if the if the attendance count was, was low for the IRC. Uh, I don't know how many spaces are available in a given class, but we had eight bikes. It sounded like more or less everyone showed up that uh, committed to showing up. And it was a blend of range time and classroom time, which I thought was a little unusual because before we started the classroom time we actually did some range exercises now I now, now thinking about it after the fact I think that the initial exercise which is really simple was like uh, start your bike go accelerate shift downshift stop and then like turn uh, I think it was probably a, to serve as a prerequisite, you know, to, as a as a check. Like, if you can perform these simple tasks, you've met the minimum requirements for the class versus uh, someone that wasn't able to perform those very simple tasks. Now, it wasn't advertised as a, an entry exam, but I think it's kind of might have, what it may have been. Uh, they had us drop the air pressure in our tires by two to three pounds uh, to give us a little bit more traction on the range. Um, we were flopping back and forth between range time and classroom time, spending about an hour in each place. I and mean, I think there were a total of four classroom sessions. 
the last one was by far the shortest it was kind of a recap with some tips on night riding and group riding the early exercises were some slow speed stuff some panic braking stuff or some emergency stop stuff and I felt like I did pretty well on the slow speed stuff like pretty much all of the slow speed stuff which makes sense because it's it's like the one thing that I've always been a little paranoid about. So when I practice, it's slow speed parking lot stuff. By no stretch of the imagination am I like a parking lot wizard with, with this motorcycle. Uh, it's just like the one thing that I have some, com some comfort with and I feel confident when I do it. And I think that translated on the range. Um, when we did our 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 emergency stops there was an instance where I locked up my back wheel which I wish I could say that it surprised me but it doesn't because I have a bad habit of applying the front and rear brake brake equally even when I'm trying to come to a stop very quickly and what happens is you start to load the suspension and the front end of the bike dives as the front brake is applied and you know the, the the rear suspension is being compressed because the whole bike is dipping but it becomes front heavy so it's very easy to to lock up that back wheel because there isn't nearly as much weight on it so they teach you to scoot back in the seat get forward uh, to keep weight on the front wheel prevent um, get your butt back as far as it will go and apply the rear brake and then feather off the rear brake as you're applying the front brake so that you don't lock it up. I locked it up one time and then I was able to think about it really hard <laughs> every instance after that and prevent my ABS from kicking on. Oh, so the, the exercise I had the hardest time with was stopping or making a hard left turn from a dead stop. So they have you do not necessarily a figure eight. You go around a 40 foot circle like one and a half times in one direction. Then you exit, you go into another circle, you go the opposite direction for a full rotation. Then you come back out and you stop at some cones, come to a full stop. And then you have to make a left hand turn from a stop. And the only way you can do that is by turning the handlebars to the lock position as far as they will go. And man, was I having a hard time with that. Because you need to get to a full lock. You need to lean your body outside. You need to feather the clutch. You need to be careful with your, your throttle input. And it would get to the point where I was kind of skipping my foot a little bit. My left foot. Because I was just uncertain at the way that the bike felt like it was, it was moving. In the end, I was able to complete it without issue one time out of the... I don't know five or six times we tried it but that was a tough one for me we did some road speed cornering which was interesting um you know like we if you've ridden any amount you you understand how counter steering works and how it feels to go around a corner but i've never fully understood the whys of the body positioning so having that explained in detail about like where your body needs to be and why and then having exercise built exercises built around maintaining that body position throughout the entire exercise it kind of helps reinforce that and there's a part of my brain that says i know what i'm supposed to do keep my head up look where i want to go let the bike lean over and just do your thing and then another part of my brain says, I don't want to die. For the love of God, look. <laughs> look at where your bike is about to go. And it's this constant struggle, this mental battle of, I know what I am supposed to do, and I'm struggling to do it because it goes against my instincts. The class was excellent. The, the instructors were great. Um, they, it, they were always positive. Like, even uh, there were times when I felt like I was screwing up, and 
I was all ready to just get down on myself. Like, why Why are you having such a difficult time with this stopping, this is turning from a stop thing. This is such a simple little exercise. Why am I struggling? But the instructors, you know, like, no, it's, it's fine. You know, like you're doing all this other stuff really well. Just try focusing on this one aspect of the exercise and see if you can improve that which would will have like a cascading effect and improve other aspects of the exercise and you know speaking of that some of the some of the instruction was just hard not because the coaches were doing a bad job it's like it's kind of like juggling you know you're you've got three balls in the air and then all of a sudden you're being tossed the fourth ball and you now you're trying to to keep four balls in the air and meanwhile when when you're finished juggling the instructor says hey did you see what that ball number two did at this point in time and it's like i i was just so busy keeping them in the air i didn't really notice the finer points of what <laughs> which direction ball number two was spinning and there were times during the exercises where it kind of felt like that where you know it was such a struggle mentally to focus and and perform the exercise the way I thought it needed to be done and then have the instructor said like hey you know you did a good job but did you notice that you were doing this well sometimes I noticed but sometimes I didn't and it's it's kind of tough it's it's cool that they point things out to you that I think the positive reinforcement is excellent I think Emily and Todd did a wonderful job during this class they were patient with everyone they were positive or at least they were positive with me I couldn't hear them talking to anyone else and I think they did a fantastic job with the class. If there was anything that I would change, uh, the the classroom time, if if that could dip just a just a little bit, it would make uh, it would make that class so much more fun. But with that being said, this is a licensing class, so there was one person there on a learner's permit who completed the class, and I believe they got stamped to get their license. So I understand the the need for classroom time um but i wish it were i don't know structured a little bit different than ride for a little bit and then sit in the sit in the classroom for a little bit and then go back and forth and back and forth uh because i found like i was i felt like i was kind of getting into a groove on the bike with the exercises and then we stopped and then it was starting all over again feeling a bit cold and having to kind of get warmed up all over again so i think that's going to do it i've been talking your ear off i do intend to do a thorough detailed write-up of the course and every and my opinions of all of it if you're interested in checking that out head on over to waltnpa.com i'll have a link directly to the article when it's finished it'll probably be finished after this video posts uh, i'll have that in the video description down below so, as always, thank you very, very much for watching. If you could do me a huge favor, I would really appreciate it if you don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, ride safe, and I will catch you in the next one.